Hi, I'm Alan. This is Alan's Firearms and Guns Plus More. And today, another interesting firearm. This is a Llama Omni. It is a 9mm. It is fashioned in a 1911 style uh, firearm. It doesn't have the backstrap safety and it isn't single action. It just looks sort of like a 1911. A lot of Spanish guns copied that American design. They loved our 1911, so they made a lot of guns to look like them. We just check to make sure it's safe. It has a decocker, safety, and it's double action, first shot. These guns shoot pretty well. They're not great, but they're pretty good for, especially the price. You can pick these up pretty inexpensively. Unless it comes in the box and it's basically mint condition, there are some people that collect them. But for the most part, you can pick them up pretty inexpensively and you have a great little gun. One of the interesting things, and I'll show you at the workbench, is the magazine. It starts off at the top as a single stack, but then it splits off into a double stack to add capacity. I'm not exactly sure how many rounds this carries. I haven't checked that out. But it's a higher capacity than normal. I think this is 12 rounds. So without any further ado, let's get to the workbench. Let's field strip it, clean it, lube it, and put it back together again. Okay, so here we are at the field stripping location. <laughs> oh boy, I think I'll leave that in. That's funny. Here we are at the workbench with the Llama Omni. Now this is a very interesting pistol. It comes apart and gets put back together again like very few guns you've ever seen. It's truly different. So that's why I'm glad I got a chance to actually show you this gun. Now let's take a look at the sight picture. It's just really basically black sights. So nothing really worth it. It has this really nice big ha flat hammer as you can see there. It has no magazine safety, so it does have a decocker. This button right here, push it down and it decocks it. It still operates, but there's a metal bar coming out. So you have to take it off the safety. First shot would be double action. After that, it's single action. I've already checked and made sure this gun was empty before I did that, by the way. So how do you take this apart? First, we remove the magazine. It's got an interesting magazine. Instead of them trying to deal with getting the fingers properly situated on a double stack magazine, they double stack the bottom and then thin it out into a single stack and that way they didn't have to rework and refigure out how to make the fingers work properly on a double stack magazine, which was one of the issues in creating double stack magazines to begin with. So they that's how they handle that. I'm not sure how many rounds this holds. I'll have to check that out when I get back to my shop. Now to take this gun apart, there is a little bar right here with an arrow facing forward. That arrow is so you put the piece back in the right direction. It's not the way you push that. Then you have this bar right here. That slides back. See how that moves back? You're going to move that back. At the same time, you got to pull back the magazine, the, the, the gun a little bit. And you, so you push that back, and this lifts, and then it comes back out. And there's another notch at the very bottom, so if you get hung up, just push this back again, and it'll, it'll come out. Then you can release it, and it will hold, come apart. Now the trick, the next trick is this. Like old 1911s, you got to push this cam down. So you can turn this and then keep your thumb over it so it doesn't spring out, you see? And then from the back you can pull out your pin, you can take out your cam, and then you'll be able to lift your barrel out. Woo! A lot of work to, to take that apart. Now to clean this firearm, we're going to take a rag, some strike hold. I use strike hold. If you want to know more about it, go look at my video. All you have to know is if you clean it with strike hold, you do not have to oil it or protect it afterwards. Okay, there's a sharp part in that gun. I just cut myself, so I'm going to go up and down and clean the slide rails. This gun is pretty clean, so I don't have to do much. I'm going to clean out the slot right in the center there that matches up with this, this lug. 
Make sure that's clean. Get all these slots in here clean. Take the rag with my finger and get all the big areas that I can do with just my hand. Wipe out the spring hole and the barrel hole. Get back here. Because you want to get, make sure you get the battery, which is the part that your round goes into. And you want to make sure that's nice. Look at all the dirt that just came out of there. It's never been cleaned. Now I'm going to make sure I get behind the extractor because if you have dirt, look at that, dirt behind the extractor, it can ride up over the round and then you'll have a failure to extract. So I'm just going to make sure I get underneath that extractor with this. And then what I can do with the strike hold is wipe the whole outside of the gun clean which this will also give it a protectant finish and it makes it look like new. Now look at that. Look at the shine on there now. Pretty enough. Now we're going to get the barrel. Make sure we get that lug clean. Get the locking lug clean. Get the ramps. Get the chamber clean and the barrel. The barrel is pretty clean. So we want to get the slide rails on the frame. A couple of times up and down each side. Get the top. Get in here. I want to get all these places nice and clean. Get in here with the stick. Mop the inside of the magazine well out from top and bottom. I'm going to get make sure my ejector is clean. We're going to look at it, make sure it's nice and straight. It is. Okay. Get this pin clean spring rod, cam, spring cover, and spring. And underneath the magazine feeding fingers. Now to oil it, remember you need to touch every place where you hit it with cleaner. If you're not using strike hold, if you're using like hoppies or any other cleaner, you have to hit every place you touched with cleaner with oil. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually oil the places that need true lubrication. And there's only a couple on the gun, which is the slide rail. So we're going to get into the slots, both sides, go up and down two or three times. Okay, once I've got, got made sure that's done, with the rest of the oil, I can use it to wipe down the inside of the gun, get all the places I've touched with cleaner. I have to touch it with oil to deactivate the cleaner, otherwise we will keep eating away the finish and the metal. Remember, that's what this stuff does, is it breaks down the copper and the lead that gets into the gun, besides just the dirt from the powder. Okay, now we want to clean this. We want to hit this with oil both sides. All the metal parts that we touched with cleaner. Remember we mopped it out with cleaner, so we're going to mop it out with oil. Don't put oil directly in a gun. It just builds up dirt and fouls up your gun. Okay going to get the pin, we're going to get this rod, the, spr the spring cover, the spring, the barrel, look how nice and shiny that is, the ramps, okay, 
And now I'm going to hit it with some, the, the oil rag. Get underneath the extractor of this. Oil the magazine and the magazine fingers underneath where I already did it with some cleaner. There. Now, trick to putting this gun together again. A lot of this this goes into this slot like that. And when you're putting this gun together, a lot of times it won't go any further than that. And people think it's because this isn't lined up properly and it drives them nuts. Okay? It has nothing to do with this drive lining up. There's a little crescent there that's got to go down, and there's a trick to getting it to go down. So let me show you how to do this. I'm going to drop. We're going to drop the barrel in. We're going to put in our barrel cam. We're going to drop our pin in. Put our spring over our pin. Our spring cover over that. Don't let it shoot across the room. Now, I'm pretty good at doing it with my fingers, but if you have to, just take a little metal bar and push it down. And this will go right over and click right in. So it will be like that. Once you have it in this position, on this side, the spring, there is a little divot sticking out on the end in the center of this. And there's a little hole on this and it will lock in. Now you know you have it in the right position. You're going to line up the slide rails with your slide slots. You're going to slide this on and that's where you start getting that problem. Put your hand on your thumb on the hammer pull the, the, the trigger and it will go right on. That's all you have to do. Then you just slide this back. There is a little arrow right on this piece of metal. Let me see if I can get that. That should show up when I zoom in on it. You're going to drop that in with the arrow facing forward, pin in, and then you pull the slide back a little bit and it will flip, push all the way in and then that bar will come in and lock itself into the slot. Function check, everything works. And that is how you take apart, clean, lube, and reassemble the Astro Omni. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It really caused me great difficulty, though. <laughs> uh, these different guns, man, every time you take them apart, it's a challenge. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Until next time. Thanks for joining me for the Llama Omni. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and until next time.